Sebentar. Mi. Apa? Sit. Sit. Down. Oh, Danny, come here. This side. This side. Go that way. Come here. Sit. 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 Sit, me. You're okay. What are you doing? Sit. Good job. Okay, let me squeeze. Hop on. Remember, hop on. Hop on. <coughs> I don't know how people make bark box videos with other dogs going crazy. Down. Good boy. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to make our first bark box video. We started getting bark box not too long ago. But now that the new year has started, we decided that we should start filming whatever we get in the boxes and just do a little unveiling. We're not sure what the theme or anything is for this month for the bark box, but we're going to find out once I open it. Simba has been hovering around, wondering what's inside. Since yesterday, I think she thinks she's in trouble. Okay, well... If you don't have BarkBox or don't even know what it is, basically it's this doggy subscription you get that comes with treats and toys every month. Um, they have different plans depending on like what size your dog is and depending on like how long you want to have the subscription for. So I think ours right now is the $25 a month subscription because when we started it we decided we'd just start with six months and just see how it goes. The box looks like this. And there's like a cute little cartoon on the back and everything. How are you sleeping with all this? Seems like waiting so attentively. Hey, look, I'm opening it. And I'm opening the box. Can you see what's inside? Can you see what's inside? Hey, what are you doing up there? Hey. Okay, fine. Stay on that side. Okay, so let's open it up. What is it? Simba, so, where are you going? For this month, it looks like the theme is the Knight of the Hound table. So they give you this little light. What are you doing? Simba, get back over here. Good job. Anyway, so they give you this little like flyer thing that tells you what the theme is and on this one, oh, they made it into a crown your dog thing. So you can actually like pop this out and make a little crown out of it and then stick it on your dog, which is pretty cute because then you could like take an Instagram picture with them with it. And then also inside, there's like oh, this cute like wrapping tissue kind of paper they use. So this one kind of looks like a table runner. So it looks like that. Simba, you can't eat that. It's got a castle and dragons and like kings and queens and knights on it. So it's pretty cute. Oh, we have like one of those parchment scroll type of things on the other side. So that's pretty cute too. It's just for fun. It says, the tale of Simba, I challenge thee. I'd like to see thee try. Okay, now I want to good stuff, huh? Can't even see you, Simba. Get back up here. Come on, hop on. All right. What's cool about Bark Box that we've discovered is just the fact that they have pretty good quality toys. And for $20 to $25 a month, they're not bad. Like, the dogs take a while to shred them, and usually they shred things like really quickly. And also, the toys are usually pretty cute or interesting. Oh, look! Here's the first toy. It's like, it's adorable. It's like very strong. Oh. I like that it even has like the flame coming out of his mouth and that part they can also like chew on. And, like yanking on it and everything. You can tell it's like really good quality stuff. I like them because you still get to give your dogs like a cute plush kind of thing and it's still like durable. Other plushy kind of toys I've given 
Simba and Danny, it's never ended well for the toy. We always like destroy it, either with the minutes and maybe it'll last a day, but otherwise they can shred those things. I really quickly just pull out the stuffing, but they take a while when it comes to these plushies, and I think it's because they make them strong enough that even hard chewers will take a while to actually destroy this guy. You can tell they put a lot of effort into this, because even the wings are like crinkly. They like chew on the tail and then the horns too, like I don't know, their toys are just very thoughtful. And here's the other one. This guy is a knight. And oh, oh yeah, he also squeaks. Oh, and he has this like Oh, I think that's his tail. Okay, yeah, so this guy's got like chewable tail, chewable little sword over here. Oh, his shield squeaks too! Yeah. 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 Let me know the dragon. You want the dragon? Well, Simba, if you want it, just take it. Here. That's it. Just sniffing it, they're not even chewing on it. Okay, so what else is in here? Here's one of the treats. It is green bark gummies. Premium formula, apparently. Oh, you're more interested in the treats, aren't you? Come on, pop back on. Okay, so what is this? Dog treats for rewarding and training. It says skin and coat. Is it good for their skin and their coat? Oh, it is. Okay, so apparently this delicious treat can support our companions in maintaining a healthy skin and coat. Are you battling the dragon? What are you doing? Okay, look. Treats. Calm down, there are treats. It says there's no artificial flavors, wheat, corn, soy, or wheat gluten in this. So, pretty good stuff. And it's made out of natural duck. Let's try this out. It also says it's made with Nutrichia, which I have no clue what that is either. Oh, something that has a lot of omega-3 in it, so I guess that's good. Okay. Oh, that is a strong smell. It just smells like really strong jerky. Oh, it's so small. The tree is really tiny. Well, I guess it's like, oh, you know. I guess if we can clean that up later. Anyway, it says it's a treat for rewarding and training, so that makes sense why it's so small. It's pretty cute though. It's like kind of in the shape of a teddy bear. I don't know if you can see that. It's just super tiny, but it looks like a tiny little gummy bear. Oh my gosh, I dropped that one too. Okay, I found it. It's all good. Okay, shake. Good boy. Okay, he seems to like it. Then his turn. Shake. Any shake? No. Shake. Ah, oh, good girl. Here. You like it? Fine. One more, okay? Sit. But they can't even see you because you're so small. Hop up here. Yeah. Now give me a sit. Good job. Well, we definitely like that one, so that's good. Okay, so the next treat we have is, oh, so this one's actually more based on their medieval theme going on. It's Banquet Feast. Unlike the King's Harvest, praise be, they are entirely wheat-free, corn-free, and soy-free. A hearty sup for your revelrous pup. I like that. It's made for kings and queens. Are you a king and queen? Oh, yeah, kisses. Oh, yeah, yeah, so many kisses. Whew. So this one, it's got really good ingredients in it, too. It says they're turkey and honey dog scents. Any may or may not have an allergy to turkey. We're not 100% sure. It's just that on Thanksgiving, we gave them both turkey, and then the next day, Danny had diarrhea, but we're not 100% sure yet if that was the turkey or if one family member was over for Thanksgiving, fed or something weird, which is also possible. But, okay, we'll just give you one day so you can try and see, okay? Okay, so these are way bigger. They're just like little rounds. They're pretty fat too. Sit, sit, sit! Good boy! Oh. Sheep! Good girl! Fat. Here, mess, aren't you? Danny, you dropped it 
under the couch. Oh my gosh, we're going to find it. It's gone under the couch forever. You know what? I'm just going to give you a small one. Here, this one's small one. Don't drop this one. You want more? You definitely smell the one that fell under the couch. I mean, you can find that later, okay? Okay, so we have medieval snacks, medieval toys, and then the last thing that they usually throw in the bark box is some sort of like chew um, thing, chew treat, I guess. Oh, so yeah, this one's a dental chew called Dozers, and apparently it's for dogs 30 to 50 pounds, medium size. Oh, and FYI, the box we get is just based on Simba, so when we sign up, we just put one of the dogs in because. It's supposed to be one box per dog kind of thing, but sharing is caring, right? Sharing is caring. I really don't know how other people video their dogs and bark boxing or the dogs doing anything because this is just troublesome. Simba, hop on. Okay, there we go. Okay, sit down. Good job. Okay, so anyway, it's just a dental chew. You probably can't see that, but. It's a toothbrush one on it, the other end is more like wide. So you just, it just gives them more surface area to chew on. 100% all natural, promotes fresh breath. So yeah, this is something they definitely can use because especially use Danny for breath. Always sick. don't know why. All right, so that was pretty much it for the bark box unveiling. It's not like super exciting, but the dogs really like it because they can see new toys of theirs every month, they get a little surprise, and they get like new treats that they've never tried before, which is pretty cool. They let the dogs get some variety too in their treats, so they don't have to deal with the same boring treats every day, huh? Because you're so spoiled. the time of their new toys just sniffing it like what more is there to sniff it's a toy you know it's a toy you can just chew on it anyway thank you so much for watching and yeah hopefully we will make another bark book video soon bye Hello, say bye <laughs> what are you roughing at say bye hey bye bye okay okay good boy Hey, say bye! You're so weird. <laughs>